Haichka CM na Haichka Kutanasiya. Each while, hello, bonjour. Asiem Nazieya, Anthem Mary Point, Tanitanach Wamasquiam. Ia to e, come kamalast, come kamalast. Ihla hachkape, Ihla pakals, Ihla huaihue, Ihla makwam, Ihla shwakatat, Ihla tachwamatst, Amitsep quatquilam. In the language of my ancestors, I let you know, my name is Mary Point and I'm from Musqueam. Today, we're gathered in what my family referred to as Kamkamalathp, the place of the broad-leafed maple. I love being in this area for so many reasons, not the least of which there are some very large maple trees just up Main Street by the railway station, and I always think these are the same maple trees that my ancestors may have looked at. To the east, a place to harvest cedar. To the west, just at the foot of Granville, where the convention center is, Pakals, the place of the great white rock, marked by many visitors when they came to the area, to that port city. In an area now called Stanley Park, a place of ceremony. My family was the last to be removed from Stanley Park once it became named after Lord Stanley. To the south, Makwam, the boggy place, the home of the two-headed serpent who went across the land and carved out our streams, right through to the Fraser, leaving in its wake a purple floret on the end of river grass that then grew abundantly along the streams and the river. Our word for that flower is muskwi, and our family is known as the people of the muskwi plant, the musquiam, the people of the river grass. To the southwest, I always want to mention a good place to catch the tide as it was once known before it was filled in to become what is now known as False Creek. But for all of these places, whether we call it the downtown east side or where we hold the Powell Street Festival or play soccer in uh, um, Oppenheimer Park, or think about the gatherings and the people who are living in tents at Crab Park, whether we think of this as Metro Vancouver, I think collectively for those of us who live in the area, we think of it as Tachwamitzt, our home. I feel really connected to this place because my Ta'ah Holechulet, Tina Cole, who was from uh, the Squamish Nation on the North Shore, used to work at Canada Post, and as she took the bus through to the post office every day as a young woman, she saw even then homelessness, our people in need, on the streets, uh, separated from their natural line of support. And she would be the first one to say, in our families, before the visitors came, there was no such thing as homelessness. We always made room for those who were coming to visit and family had a place to stay. And so for us, what she felt then as she told it to us was she had to help. So she went back to her home and started collecting canned goods, pots and pans, clothing, etc., and used to paddle across the inlet to what is now known as Crab Park and invite the families from the downtown east side to come and take what they need. And that was always her way. And she, as I walk through these streets today, I can't help but feel her presence here. I can't help but, but think about what all the work that she started and all the shoulders that we stand on today, all the many people who have been trying to resolve this issue 
since the visitors came, since colonization. I think about, um, I'm a community planner in my past life, and uh, uh, I remember reading the first journals for what would become the city of Vancouver, the very first directory written by the executive director of CN Rail, who knew us, who saw us sustainably managing the land, the waters, the fish, the wildlife, uh, efficiently trading with our relatives up and down the coast from far and wide. And his very first paragraph of that first city directory was, come to this part of the world. There's plenty of trees you can cut down for materials, and there's a river nearby where you can dump all your waste. And for me, exactly, for me, that attitude is kind of what set us on the wrong path. And our families have been shouting from the rooftops for, for a more sustainable way of life, for a way to support one another and lift one another up. Here in the downtown east side, though, of course, there's a multitude of services, all tasked with staff and, and narrow grant funding and specific mandates that are meant to help narrow groups throughout the community. And some people are good at accessing those services and some aren't. And for us who are looking from the outside, we think we, there has to be a way to work together. So when I look around this room and I think about the work that is being done from the grassroots, the change makers, the innovators, the community builders, I raise my hands for each and every one of you and the work work that you are doing to help weave together the important work that needs to be done in order for there to be a sustainable future for our community members. And as I stand here, I'm looking at our team. Uh, we have in the downtown east side a land trust who've been busy doing their homework. I remember sitting on the elders advisory and we all went to see a film about Kensington and the successes of community building there. Uh, there's so many, so many great ideas and ways of, of, of coming together and working. And I, we also have a board that meets diligently, uh, weekly, and staff that works hard every single day trying to get to that goal. And you're going to go on a walk with some of them. And I can't wait to hear how you feel when you see and get to know our beautiful team members and the energy that they bring, the hope, the creativity, and all of the, the community that they have managed to build. It really lifts me up every single time I have a chance to be near them. So I'm so excited that you'll get to know them, get to walk our neighborhood with them, and really learn from each other. So that's enough talking from me. Uh, I'm going to start us off in a good way with a song that comes from my great uncle Dominic Point, his traditional name, Tiakthet. Tiakthet and the Point family hail from the Musqueam village of Kwayach. Kwayach, for those of you who are not from the Lower Mainland, is now known as Gary Point in Steveston. So renamed by Captain Vancouver, who, like the Spanish before them, who arrived waving that doctrine of discovery, declaring us non-humans, just came in and started renaming all our places and spaces after their friends and compadres. And they couldn't or wouldn't learn our names, so we became known as the Indians from the Point. And then it was decided that we were legally required to have a last name, and our last name became Point. So our young people are like, we should get that name off us and take back our traditional names, but that's a process unto itself. There's great ceremony and history and, and ways of, of being to, uh, to share our names. And of course, we're still in recovery from the great disruption where our families were separated and our language was outlawed and our history had some little cracks put into it all. 
But there's also 2,800 points now up and down the coast and over the island and in the interior. So uh, I think the important part of that is we know who we are and where we come from. I forgot to mention this is also known as a shared territory. So my grandmother, who we were all divided up by the federal government when they put us into jurisdiction. So my grandmother is from the Squamish nation. She married my grandfather, Sal Sumkin, in our longhouse at age 13 in Musqueam. And our Tsleil-Waututh relatives used to live nearby us, but they were picked up and barged over to Deep Cove. So we are all one family. Uh, as protocol determines, I can, only rec I can only welcome you on behalf of my specific family, but I'm just letting you know it's a shared area. We're all walking this path together. We all think of this place collectively as our home. So I'm going to share this song that comes from Tiakthet, that comes from Kwayach, Song of the Land. And uh, I'm gonna, uh, there's enough people here that know it that I expect you to jump in right from the beginning. But for those who don't know it, I'll sing it a second time and then maybe you'll learn this song of the land. It would really honor my ancestors upon whose shoulders we stand. <clears throat> Excellent, excellent singing. We have a saying in our community, I tanashkwalawin kwanzi kwatsnala. My heart is full to be standing here with all of you as this conference gets underway. And uh, I feel really lifted up. So because I feel lifted up, I want to lift you up in return. Hai tsebka. <laughs> 